Libra, hey y'all, welcome back to Southern Intuition. This is going to be a general love read for the remainder of October. Keep in mind, I believe everything connects eventually, and if it's your message to hear, you'll do so. And then please like, share, and subscribe. All right, let's see. Libra. Libra, we're going to pull a Celtic cross for you. If you have any characters that show up, I will see what they're thinking, feeling, and what their action shall be. And I will close it off with a message from the Herbal Crafters Tarot, which will provide a healing medicine for you. Let's see. Libra. Coming into the current moment, the hanged man. <clears throat> Overall for the reading is the five of wands. So there's some sort of conflict that's happening all around you. And you're just sitting there like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting involved. It could be uh, someone from your past... Um, I don't know, it could be your kids that you're dealing with. You're really just trying to take things one day at a time, one day at a time. You could have emotionally detached from this in the recent, in the past. You could have been like, yeah, no, I just don't want to deal with this conflict and drama. Um, <clears throat> on your mind, though, you feel kind of bad about it. You feel like maybe you should have done more to help the situation out. Uh, in the immediate future, Two of Pentacles... You're still kind of like, I don't really know what to do with this. Um, but supporting the whole reading, there is, you know, something here that makes you happy. Some, something here is coming to light, um, which you may not be aware of. Nine of Swords. This is in your environment. So somebody is going nuts about all of this. You feel it just needs a little bit of time. A little preparing. And the outcome is the Ten of Wands, which is... Uh, almost there. I'm almost there. I can almost be done with all this chaos because it's here. It is here. It's kind of driving you nuts. Um, probably something that's been going on for quite some time. This is something that probably used to, you know, like, why can't it be like it was then? Like, it was so good back then. Why, why can't it still be good like that? Like, why has it got to be all this crazy... Uh, conflict, nobody knows what they want, oh, I'm out the door, oh, no, here we go, it's just, it's sad, it's a really sad deal here, so, but the focus is one day at a time, slow and steady wins the race, the Knight of Pentacles, let's see what he's thinking, feeling, and action he plans to take, all right, so what he's thinking is he, um, he wants a relationship, he feels like he needs to balance things out and he will take action. There's going to be some sort of communication. It could be an apology, but somebody feels shitty. So they're going to make things right within a dynamic. You might not have known how to do that. The hanged man's at the bottom of the deck there. So you might have felt trapped or they might have felt trapped for quite some time. But that's created all this conflict. Like, rawr, just rawr, I, I see nonsense let's see why this nine of swords is here i am gonna i'm curious just you know why are they stressed out i mean i see the chaos happening but that's a pretty rough energy here so we have the king of cups the ace of wands three of swords hmm. this is the emotional detachment it was in the past here so this person is stressed out because they know that they walked away from the situation, but they think that they have to hold back from how they feel. But how they feel is they have desire that they really want to proceed in. But I just see them breaking their own heart. Three of Swords energy. I see them staying trapped in their head because what they want is a loving, passionate relationship. But... They're not doing anything but creating pain, which caused someone else to walk away here. Things are going to calm down. The Ten of Pentacles, you're almost there. Um, the Devil is showing up for that. The Three of Cups and the Ten of Swords. Okay, so <coughs> I see a new beginning coming in here for you. And you might be thinking to yourself that 
this is just, this is not going to work out. <clears throat> You're almost there, right? But whatever this is, it's this conflict, all of this has just been consuming you. And you feel like you just want that Six of Cups, Three of Cups energy. You just want things to be better. Be mindful. Things are going to calm down. I done said that. I see a new door opening here for you. I see you finally getting to where you need to go. And then it's like bright future. You know, there's good things that shall come to you here. So let's get a medicine for you from the herbal crafter. Let's get a message for Libra. What is the medicine that Libra needs? The Karandara of water. Seaweed. You also have five of air, which is white sage. Sage your shit. Sage your house. Sage your car. Sage your yard. Sage yourself. <laughs> Repent. The Karandara of water. Seaweed. Cool. Seaweed. <clears throat> Do not live in the shallows. Live in the depths and strengthen your bones in the ocean's ebb and flow. Rock gently on the water and heed the siren song. The Karandara of water flows through life with ease. She neither hides her feelings nor lets them overtake her. She understands emotions have cycles too, and she easily navigates their changes. She remembers that our first home was the sea, and the sea we shall return. She makes time for daily rituals that bring deep healing, and she washes away in her turmoil as she cleanses and bathes. She knows that seaweed nourishes her body, and she enjoys snacking on the salty treat. People are drawn to her open heart and conforming, comforting embrace. Her counsel brings a sense of calm and well-being. Spend time watching seaweed in the ocean. Wade in and let your body feel the rhythm. Strengthen your bones. Snack on some kelp or some elderglass or eelgrass. Restore your connection to the sea and enjoy a seaweed bath at home. Kind of help clear you of these negative energies here. I, there might have been a third party involved. Choice and lovers was made. Hmm. This conflict will come to an end, though, so it, it will. It's just a matter of time before somebody gets tired of it and just decides to focus on themselves. So that's why I have you. Good luck with that.